Hey everybody, Larry Mack here with another edition of the Mack Reynolds Rundown. Now we still are on a little bit of a break for the Olympics, but we'll be back before you know it, starting at Watkins Glen for 14 consecutive weeks of racing, including that run at Phoenix the early part of November for the championship. So speaking of the Olympics, would you like to see racing as part of the Olympics and how would it work? You know, if you'd asked me this several months ago, I maybe would have had a hard time wrapping my arms around auto racing being part of the Olympics. But now I think it could work and I would love to see it. I think about what IROC used to do. I think about what we just saw recently with the SRX racing series where you have identically prepared cars and then you get drivers from different countries from where they're from, the US, maybe over in Spain, maybe Italy, France and you race them in a country where there's different principles of racetracks. I think a four to six race series at, at like a dirt track, a short track, maybe an intermediate track, even a road course. You award points, you have a gold, you have a bronze, you have a silver. I would love to see that as part of the Olympics in the future. Well, it's hard to believe we are closing in on the regular season. We have four races to go before we start the playoffs, and what a season it has been. We've had 13 different winners in 22 races, and we have raced at every type of racetrack that we go to. So with that said, what is my championship for prediction? Well, it's a guess because we all know when you get to the playoffs, it's about timing. It's about being at the right place at the right time. It's about winning. It's still about being consistent. But I would say today, if you made me say who my championship for absolutely will be when we get to Phoenix, I think it's going to be Hendrick Motorsports versus Joe Gibbs Racing. I'm saying Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson from Hendrick Motorsports, and I'm saying Kyle Busch and Martin Trex Jr. from Joe Gibbs Racing, but it's all about that third round. It's about Texas, Kansas, two mile and a half tracks, and then of course the paperclip at Martinsville. Well, let's spin things ahead to Phoenix in the early November to end the 2021 season where we're going to crown our champion. We're going to go up to that point and look back at 2021. So what's going to be my biggest storyline when I look back at this 2021 Cup Series season? Well, you had Kevin Harvick that he has won multiple races every year he has been at Stuart Haas Racing, including winning that 2014 Cup Series championship. He won nine races in 2020. When we complete this 2021 season, we're going to look back and as hard as it is to believe, Kevin Harvick will go winless in 2021. Well, you know this is my favorite part of the Mac Reynolds Rundown. I'm going to answer a fan's question, and this question this week comes from Jeremy Hastings from Laurel, Delaware. With the Olympics starting in Japan, what was your favorite part about going to Japan when NASCAR went there from 1996 to 1998? And of course, I went over to Japan all three years. We went to Suzuka, Japan, the road course in 96 and 97, and the Oval at Motegi in 1998. Well, I would have to say just going out of the country for the first time I had ever been outside the United States. Yeah, I'd been to the Caribbean, but I had never even been to the country of Canada. And just seeing the culture over in Japan. But the biggest thing was the excitement of the fans over there, the way they embraced that NASCAR was coming over there and racing in the country of Japan and just seeing how they did things, how they cooked their food, prepared their food. Just everything about it was a culture shock to me, but something I thoroughly enjoyed. But I will say this. Winning in 1998 at Motega, Japan with Mike Skinner, I'd say that goes to the top of the chart as my favorite. So fans, be sure to keep those questions coming. Tag at NASCAR on Fox on Twitter using the hashtag MacReynolds Rundown. Well, that concludes this week. We'll be back next week. Have a great week, everybody. MacReynolds Rundown. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.